What's going on guys? In this video, we're talking about seven, specifically seven fragrances that I think are worth getting your nose on this year. They're worth trying, sampling, getting a decant, just experiencing to see if they're full bottle worthy for you. Some of these you may not have heard of, some of these you may not have given twice a look when you maybe looked them up on the internet or maybe heard somebody talk about them, but seven, I think you should give a shot and try. So stay tuned. Starting with the fragrance I'm actually wearing today. This is Ralph's Club Parfum, released last year. So the original Ralph's Club is very well beloved, very easy going, easy to like, mass appealing type of fragrance. Here, it's warmer, it's spicier, it's even a little smoky on my skin with a warm wood feel. This is very nice. I believe there's some cardamom in here as the spicy note. This is really, really good. I have five sprays on currently. It's nice to just spray it in the air and enjoy it. The caveat for this one is that it's not a real strong projector. So if you're looking for an in-your-face fragrance, this isn't worth checking out. But if you're the type that likes to, you know, leave room for discovery, you don't want to overwhelm somebody when you walk by them or walk up to them or even in a workplace setting, more intimate settings, but still have this just intoxicatingly enjoyable aroma, you might want to check this one out because it does last a long time on skin. Eight to ten hours has been my experience, more so in that ten-hour range and it's worth sampling. Like I said, if you're looking for more of an attention grabber, maybe go with the Eau de Parfum, but this is definitely the better smelling, more refined version with some really good longevity that is worth getting your nose on. Get out to the department stores where they sell Ralph Lauren fragrances, get this one on your skin and try it out. It's Ralph's Club Parfum. This next one is my favorite release from this house. It's a newer house, a Middle Eastern niche house uh, called Sphinx Fragrances. They have been known in the past for their beard and shaving products for Sphinx Beard. But here we're talking about Sphinx Fragrances Black Anibis. So what's so unique and enjoyable for me about this fragrance is it's a grapefruit aromatic at the top that does stick around a long time with a dry oud wood smell. A very dry pencil shavings type of smell, some nutmeg blending with it. And a lightly soft supple leather note that doesn't become too animalic. It's not a really powdery fragrance. It's actually quite the wearable, fresh, woody fragrance. Um, there is some density. There's a lot of staying power. There's a lot of character to this scent, but it's not a challenging wear. This one really captivated me the most of the original six releases from the house, and you can get carded samples for just a few dollars from Sphinx Fragrance's website. You can get 10 ml travel sizes, which I have a 10 ml travel size right here. I encourage you to get your nose on this. A lot of people are raving about the green bottle like this with the plate called Tabaxitron Vini, but Black Anibis is definitely my favorite of the house. It's the one that I really stand behind, is very enjoyable, super wearable, dip your toe stepping stone type of oud fragrance, not real funky or anything like that. Nothing challenging, just flat out enjoyable. Get your nose on this one this year. Sphinx Fragrance is Black Anibis. This next one is a personal favorite of mine. It's one of my favorite releases of 2022. It's tropical, it's sweet, it's Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Beau Le Parfum. This stuff is so good, guys. Pineapple coconut combination in the top, and there's a cypress note that kind of grounds it. It's juicy fruit and tropical. There's not really a sunscreen feel to the coconut, more coconut shaving than anything else. You get more of a sunscreen feel with the Eau de Toilette, the original to this. This is a flanker, the Parfum flanker. There's a little bit more depth here. The iris that's in here comes across more of a soapy floral tone, not really a heavily powdery, very floral bright iris feel, not an earthy iris feel, any of that. It's just kind of this light soapy tone in the backdrop. The stars of the show here are definitely the pineapple coconut cypress combo that you're going to get towards the top and the heart of the fragrance. And then as it dries, it becomes all about this sweet powdery tonka bean, as you would expect. But that tropical fruity feel does hang out for at least half the lifespan of this fragrance. This is a beast. This is really, really strong. And it's one that I encourage you to sample. If you can get a decant online, which I mean, you can definitely get them. I started out with a 10 ml decant that's missing about 4 ml. Try it out. I definitely tried first before I got a bottle. Fell in love. Love spraying this one. And it's one that I encourage you to get your nose on, especially if you're a fan of the Eau de Toilette. This is a superior version, in my opinion. Check this one out in 2023. Just give it a sample. Give it a try. Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Beau Le Parfum. Next has been kind of taking the community by storm. Um, this is a wow factor, very in-your-face, super masculine, slightly challenging fragrance. Uh, this isn't going to be for everyone, but boy, 
This is stuff that enthusiasts have been craving from the houses of Haroff. This is signature leather tobacco. This is the wow factor. This is pungence in your face. It's a little medicinal the way the sharp juiciness of the plum comes across in the top because you're going to get a lot of smoke. There's birch tar and frankincense here. A lot of smoke, leather, earthy tobacco as it starts to settle, but it's all about that leather and spices with that sharp medicinal feel to this plum. It comes across medicinal to me. A lot of smoke. Dark, rich, ambery. There's some sweet notes in here that kind of take some of the edge off because even though it's very punchy and in your face at the top, it gets really smooth really quickly. Anybody familiar with the house, you know the quality and the smoothness of the, the compositions is always to be expected, and there's nothing short of that here. But at the top, it is not something you're probably not expecting. Even if you look at the note breakdown, you can't really anticipate how it's going to smell completely the first time you smell it. So I encourage you, just one spray, test it out a little bit. Uh, you can get samples from the website. You can get the 2ml samples, and you can get travel sizes. So you don't have to commit to a bottle, but there are two different size bottles. This is the 2-ounce. It is available in 4-ounce as well. But if you're looking for quite the interesting, strong, show-stopping, assertive, room-filling, attention-grabbing type of experience... You're going to want to try this in 2023 while supplies last because it's not always going to be called this. It will be something different down the line in Europe, but here in the States, this is one worth sampling this year for sure. Zaharoff Signature Leather Tobacco. This has become my favorite in its line. I really like the Stronger With You line, but I'll tell you what, Stronger With You, absolutely. This one captivates me. It's a perfectly balanced, boozy, sweet, spicy, dry ambery fragrance because the dryness that as it dries down the dry tone is from this chestnut note that comes in that's kind of one of the signature notes for this dna there's rum here even though the toffee's not listed i smell the toffee note from stronger with you intensely the intensely flanker that's the sweetness that i get here a lot of warm spice beautiful great performer this is absolutely one of the best designer fragrances I've put my nose on in some time. I've really been digging this one. I've been wearing this one quite a bit lately. Wife's a huge fan. This is worth trying. Anywhere they sell Armani fragrances and they have this one as a tester, you should spray your skin and spend a little time with it. Walk around, enjoy the sillage, see what your lady thinks about it. Walk by a group of people, see if anybody smells you and says, ooh, you smell nice. You never know. Put this one on the skin and try it. This is worth sampling. I wouldn't advise blind buying any of the fragrances in this video, but I would advise, hence the name of the topic matter, to try this. Get out and sample it. If not, get a decant online. Again, you can get decants of these things online, guys. Here's my decant of Stronger With You, absolutely. I tried it first before I bought a bottle. So definitely give this one a shot this year. This stuff's amazing. This is Stronger With You, absolutely. A beautiful indie niche fragrance that literally smells like vanilla ice cream at the top, the way the tonka bean is. This tonka bean oil specifically smells like fresh scooped vanilla ice cream, like a vanilla bean ice cream with an aged bourbon barrel type of smell, a little smoky. We're talking about Flower City fragrance. This is bourbon vanilla. You can get samples of this. You can get travel sizes. This is indie niche, super high quality. Bourbon vanilla may sound simplistic, it's been done before, but not quite like this. I haven't smelled a bourbon vanilla combination like this. The vanilla is, like I said, the specific tonka bean oil. It smells like freaking fresh, a bowl of vanilla ice cream at the top. It's, it's crazy. <sighs> there it is. Like vanilla bean ice cream specifically, not homemade vanilla. Vanilla bean ice cream. Think of that. Think of like a Tillamook or something like that, a higher quality ice cream at the store. Not just the cheap, great value stuff, you know. Man, this is good. And it warms up really quickly because of the bourbon. It's this aged barrel bourbon type of smell. Very ambery, a little smoky dry wood type of feel to it. It's not super deep and complex, but there is a little bit of nuance to this one. Performance is stellar. And again, this is the highlight of the house for me. They have three fragrances available at the recording of this. I've tried all three. This is the one I have a bottle of. This is my favorite. This is the one I stand behind and say, get a sample from Flower City Fragrance. I'll have links to all of these down below for you guys to check out. But this is an experience in itself. Obviously not the best choice for the warmer weather, but in the cooler climates, man, you should really try it this year. Flower City Fragrance, Bourbon Vanilla. Last but not least, 
in many ways, this kind of kills Ventus. It's a parfum extrait. It's not super bright and loud. At first it is, but the magic's in the sillage because this one will linger in the air. It's a very minty, fresh kind of take. It's got a tie to Aventus, like maybe 50, 60% of Aventus's DNA while then twisting it its own way. This is from Soradora. This is called Gladiator. I really like this one. It's actually in my lineup to wear in a few days at the recording of this for my weekly rotation. It's so good. It's fruity. It's sharp citrus. It's mint leaf type of feel to it. There's no real dark, heavy nuances to this. It's woody. There's a lot of complexity. As you wear this one, it will change on your skin but it's one that just lingers in the air. It's a very consistent, tight scent bubble after the projection calms down. It's very dense. You'll definitely smell yourself throughout the wearing all day because uh, this will last all day. It's just not super loud room filler, uh, but it will linger. It will leave a trail when you walk by people. It's very, very good. So good. Those little light spritzes, there's a reason that it's like that. Let me do that one more time. See that? Little spritz. Four or five of these little spritzes go a very long way with this fragrance. I've tried a few from the house now. This is the most mass appealing, wearable, everyday, signature scent worthy type of fragrance. God, this smells good. So now I have three of those sprays in the air. You want to talk about fantastic. If you like minty fresh, you're going to want to try this. You can get samples. You can get discovery sets. Discover the house of Soradora. They have some great stuff to offer. And this one... Might be the most easygoing of all of them. Again, that's Soradora Gladiator. Well, that's the seven that I have for you today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Because I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. What of these seven have you tried? Or would you be interested in sampling? Like I said, I'll have links to everything down below. Uh, to do my best due diligence. To help you guys out for anything that you may want to get your nose on. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these seven, just give them a try. You give them a spray now, you'll probably end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.